It's Umsum time. What if we swallow chewing gum? No, what if? I swallow chewing gum every single time. Oh, um, some. <laughs> Firstly, it is a myth that chewing gum sticks to the insides of our stomach just like it sticks to any other surface. It does not. It passes through the body just like any other food. Our body is able to digest many parts of the chewing gum like sweeteners, <laughs> flavorings, etc., but not the gum hmm. resin. Huh? But that does not mean that it stays in our stomachs for years. In fact, just like any other waste material, oh. it is pushed through our intestines and then finally out of the body. So, is there any use of swallowing a chewing gum? The answer is a big no, because it has absolutely no nutritional value. Ooh. Also note that choking may occur if big chunks of swallowed gum get stuck in our windpipe. What if dinosaurs never went extinct? Hmm? I would have new buddies. <laughs> dinosaurs would be much smaller today. Do you know why? Because during that time, angiosperms were beginning to take over from gymnosperms. Now, as compared to gymnosperms, angiosperms are easier to digest and require a much smaller gut size. Thus, size of herbivorous dinosaurs would have reduced and that would have gradually led to reduction in size of carnivorous dinosaurs as well. Scientists also think that dinosaurs might have become more intelligent because dinosaurs like Troodon, who were considered smart and had a large brain compared to their body size, were beginning to evolve. But what about us? That is, humans. Humans were able to evolve because the impact of the asteroid killed the dinosaurs triggered drastic changes in climate conditions, which led to mammalian evolution and eventually human evolution. Ah. Thus, had the asteroid oh. never crashed, we probably wouldn't have existed. Hmm. Mm. What if a massive solar flare hits Earth? Uh -huh. I will use my Umsum shield and protect the Earth. <laughs> oh, Umsum. Solar flares are sudden and massive eruptions of electromagnetic radiation from the sun's surface. <laughs> A massive solar flare which occurred in 1859 had minimal impact, but it would have massive disruptions today, huh? mainly because of our over-reliance on technology. The Earth's surface would be safe, but our atmosphere would bear the entire brunt of radiation, that is, radio waves, x-rays, gamma rays, etc. Firstly, there would be a major disruption of power grids, possibly leaving cities or even countries without any electricity. Secondly, our good old radio communication would be down and out. Thirdly, and most importantly, GPS and satellite communications would be hit. This would cause major problems for transportation and communication. Lastly, because of massive auroras, our atmosphere would look like a magnificent painting. What if all the bees die? No ways! I will sell all my burgers and create a safe house for them. That's so cute, Umsum. There are more than 16,000 species of bees. Bees generally collect pollen and nectar from flowers for their survival. In this process, they help pollinate majority of the fruits and vegetable crops which are consumed in the world today. Some studies reveal that more than 90% production of cherries, blueberries, and almonds is a direct result of the pollination efforts of bees. Also, certain bees have evolved as per the size and structure of specific flowers. Hence, if there are no bees, these plants would definitely go extinct. This will also have a catastrophic effect on the food chain as the animals eating those plants will slowly but surely perish. Finally, because of the absence of natural sweetener like honey, many people may switch ah. over to an unhealthy artificial sweetener like sugar. Hmm.